it's Miss Walters. I'm here a little bit earlier than normal, but that is because yesterday when I tried to upload my video, it took four hours, and I think I got you when you were in bed. But I have been missing you a lot, and today I'm going to read you Squish, Squash, Squeeze by Tracy Corduroy, and it's been illustrated by Jane Chapman. Okay, looks very fun. There are lots of exciting animals in here, and I think you'll quite like it. I certainly did. Are you ready? Mouse's new house had shady trees and a roof like a witch's hat. It had creaky steps and flower pots and pegs for muddy boots. Ooh! cried Mouse as he marched on in. It's just right! Mouse quickly shooed the cobwebs away. Oh, cobwebs. There he is, shooing them away. Ooh, sorry. And look! A piano! He smiled. He jumped right up and started to play. Blink, blonk, blink, blonk, blink, blonk. But all of a sudden... Roar! A big brown bear burst out. I'm a scary bear in a scary house and there's no room here, not even for a mouse. Mouse folded his arms. You don't scare me, Mr. Grumblepants. There's plenty of room, so no more stuff and nonsense. That bear, he looks a bit squashed in there. I might have been a bit more afraid than Mouse. Mouse skipped up his just right stairs all the way to the bathroom. But when he peeped round the door. Oh, look at Bear, by the way, tidying up Mouse's books for him, helping him to unpack. Ooh, he's been told. When he peeped round the door. Snap! A crocodile was crammed in the bath. I'm a scary croc in a scary house and there's no room here. Not even for a mouse. Mouse shook his head. There's plenty of room, Mr. Snippy Snap, he said. Now, my plan needs a drink, so please turn on that tap and no more stuff and nonsense. Oh, told him. Bit by bit, Mouse squeezed all his things into the tiny house. Only two more boxes, he said, trotting through the hall. But before he could unpack them, he heard a huge whoosh! came whizzing down the banister. I'm a scary eek! The tiger squealed as he flew off the end and... Oh no, who is he going to hit? That's right, he's going to crash straight into everyone. Crash! Now look what you've done, grumbled Bear. There's no room to be untidy, snapped Crocodile. I just went too fast, Tiger sighed. Sorry. It was quite a mess. Right, said Mouse. No more stuff and nonsense. Let's all tidy up, then we can have some tea. With a wiggle and a jiggle and a squish, squash, squeeze, there was just enough room for the four of them. Budge up a bit, Bear, Tiger tuttered. Move your tail, Tiger, grumbled Bear. 
I need the loo, squeaked Crocodile. Let me through! Just then, there was a strange rumble underneath the floor. Oh my! cried Mice. What was that? It sounded like something big, gulped Bear. And scary, gasped Tiger. Mm, what's it going to be? Rumble, the rumble, thump! It's coming nearer, Crocodile cried, his teeth chattering. The noise grew rumblier and thrumblier until the teacups jumped in their saucers. It sounds like it's in our house, Tiger trembled. What if it wants to live here too? There was only one thing for it. Mouse stood tall and called in his biggest, bravest voice. I'm a scary mouse in a scary house and there's no... Down, 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 tumbled Mouse through a giant hole in the floor. Oh no, there he falls. He landed bump and looked all around. Oopsie, said a little mole, blinking at the rumpus he'd caused. I must have dug a bit too much and now I've made this great big hole under your house. I'm so sorry, but Mouse started to smile. Stuff and nonsense, he said. It's just what we need. And with a wiggle and a jiggle, this time there really was plenty of room for everyone. There they are having a whale of a time now that the floor is gone and they've got more space. Ah, the end. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed that story, everyone. I certainly was a bit scared in the beginning, but by the end it all worked out. So have a lovely day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye!